exciting, yeah. Neighborhoods buzzing about that. People in the beach aren't quite ready to let go of their Olympic excitement, especially after one of their own, Penny Alexiak, stole the show with a record four medals for Canada in the pool. And Alexiak has the gold medal! The celebration started in Rio, but if Johanna Carlo has her way, it'll continue in Toronto this Sunday. We wanted to celebrate her success early on, and, and folks were calling for a parade the second she got out of the pool. When Carlo is a board member for the Beach Village BIA, which is in Alexiak's neighborhood. She's now spearheading the campaign to have a small parade for Alexiak. Carlo has applied to the city for permits to have a procession that would start here at East Lynn Park and then move up the Danforth to Woodbine and then over to Kew Park. Alexiak managed to slip home unnoticed during the Olympics, even posting this picture on Instagram from Canada's Wonderland before heading back to Rio to be the flag bearer during the closing ceremonies. Carlo says her return home won't be so quiet this time around. We'll have some festivities and some presentations and some band and some music and good Canadian fun. Christina! Canadian Olympic beach volleyball player Christina Valhaz, who also lives in the area, returned home yesterday. She says she's amazed by the Olympic buzz around the city. The excitement from the Olympics, I can still feel it sort of carrying on in Toronto. Valhaz says she plans to be at the parade on Sunday. And I'm excited to get people together and celebrate the athletes because... I think it was a pretty incredible time in Rio. At the end of the day, just have a party of red and white. Carlo hopes Valhaz won't be the yeah, only Carlos Olympic athlete kind of, to join the party kind of this weekend. And we had a guest list, and now we decided if you want to bring your friends and more people want to come, come on over. Come to our party. We'd love to have everybody.